It's not that the people that push the most. It's the people that they just innately know how to breathe. They innately know how to bring themselves down because then if you bring yourself down, your state of recovery is going to be better and you can go harder, right? So it's like this natural state of nanosecond intervals, right? Within our life that we are not aware of because we only are aware of these like contextualized, like one minute on one minute off, but like we're happening, like intervals are happening all the time. That's kind of the way that I look at it. It's like this, like on off all or nothing principle in so many ways. And like with athletes, you look at the best athletes in the world, maybe it's not the fact that they're the top performers. Maybe they're the best down regulators. It's definitely a significant portion of that variance for sure. I mean, performance matters for sure. But right. I mean, yeah. But at that certain, but at the, at those elite levels, NFL, NBA, you know, you know, elite military, et cetera. I mean, you are talking about people for whom, you know, like 1% in performance is every, the yeah. changes is, is everything. Right. And, but then you start thinking about, you know, what are some of the like physiological metrics that kind of are used to show kind of para, you know, parasympathetic flexibility, like yeah. autonomic flexibility, heart rate recovery. Literally, how fast does your heart get back down mm-hmm. from being you know, stimulated 140, 150, et cetera? How fast does it drop down to your normal resting? And I guarantee you that the you know, elite, I know elite athletes have a greater heart rate recovery uh, than, than, than even kind of like um, you know, w- w- weekend warriors or, pe- or others who are just uh, in, in the performance space. 